Good day, good day. So, in the shed today, working on the Triumph. So I'm gonna decat it, switch around. So I've gone for the Black Widow. Decat. This is what you get. You get two of them. Just stick them here. Throw a lot of light, but with them. And some exhaust space. Not a clue how these go on. So, gonna learn. Work it out. So, in with a box, get some stickers. And one of these. Same motorcycle exhaust systems. I say it's cost 165 quid for these. Never done one before. We'll be working on the Triumph. So yeah. I guess the first thing is let's get the tools off, get the cat off, then we'll work out how to put all this back on. Take the cat off, here's a cold start, first start of the morning, minus two. smoky it always is on the first start but it's going in for the 12,000 mile service uh, next week so I want to get it decapped because when it's in there it's going to be mapped as well so yeah when I get it decapped so when it goes in they can see what maps gonna work with it so it's got short tours on I think they're short tours positive the uh, so yeah, so, so far it looks like Allen keys. So let's start stripping. So that's one cover off. So the Allen keys, one, two there. Then these clips off the back, just on the hook. And you just have to give it a good chug. Give it a good chug off. They come off. Okay. Then you. 13 mil, 12 mil, sorry, bolts here and here. So I'm going to loosen these clamps off. Loosen these clamps off here. Then we'll get this back exhaust off here. Then we'll go from there. So, as you can see there, I've snapped the bolts and the dry on doing it. I'm putting penetrating oil on, but it's snapped on one of the brackets. So just from down here. There is another 12 mm what holds the back cannon. So yeah, that should be close enough to come off now. So we'll give that a good pull and get the back can off. So that's one off. Wow, the pain in the house that was to get off. So yeah, anyone watching this, tell me if this is a short tool. Yeah, see that on there. But it says, not for road use. It's past the MIT, it's real mod. So, I wonder what it's going to sound like when it's decapped. Yeah. So, one done 12 mil bolt. Yeah, what's well, holding the cat on this side? That front bracket's loose. So, yeah, like I say, bolt snapped on that one. So, I need to get that out. Put a new bolt in. So, time to go to the other side. So the cat's out. I end up having to take this peg holder off here, the rear peg holder. Two 14mm bolts. Longer bolts for the top one, shorter bolts for the bottom. Why is taking this out? I found this. Look here. Hanging down. Don't know where it goes. So I'm going to have to have a look, see where that plugs into. 
bike starts and runs alright so I ain't got a clue what that's for but yeah that's the cat out so time to work out where the other pipes go and that crap and where that connector goes so here we go so I'm guessing it goes like that it goes in there like that because this is the thicker bit that goes over that rubber there and that bolts on the other side then you've got two springs in here there got a hook up on them so we'll work out what these are for yeah so it looks simple really pretty easy still can't work out where that connector is through there red and yellow and brown but hey, never mind so yeah let's get this connected put some paste on exhaust paste to stick it in get them all clamped up alright so because I've got two snap bolts in my brackets all I'm doing is set of monkeys getting them and undoing them but some of rusted up tail in a pain so I'm just using a bit of heat Heat up the thread and penetrating oil. As soon as it's hot, I spray it with penetrating oil. Yeah, you do go pew, flame. Leave it to burn for a bit, heat it back up, and they do undo nicely. As you see there, that's that one done. Just going to do this one now and try and find two bolts. Don't know if anyone else does it, but my mates call me Magpie. Because every time I see a bolt laying around, nuts, bolts, washers, I, like, I pick them up to put them in my pocket. Or old bolts after I've done stuff, I just throw them in my tub. Let's see, all different sized bolts, nuts, everything. If it comes in handy, you need to find a bolt. So yeah, to all them people, I say, what are you picking that bolt up for? Then the thing is, I have to remember to take them out of my pockets or they end up in the washing machine and the missus ain't happy. So this is why I collect all the old nuts, bolts when I'm doing jobs. Uh, if I see bolts laying around on the floor, I just pick them up, put them in my pocket and I just throw them in my tub. Because you never know when you're going to need a bolt. So yeah, anyone else does that? See nuts or bolts laying around, pick them up. No matter where you are. Uh, one I was in town. I think it was Primox or something. And I saw a few bolts just laying on the side. And I, kept, and I said to the woman, Can I have them bolts? She went, yeah, if you want them. So I took them. I'm telling you something, they're coming handy. So yeah. As soon as I see a bolt, nuts, all like that laying around, I pick them up. Throw them in my tub. You see, uh, old nuts. Everything. You never know. Even these big bolts I found laying around. Don't know what I'm going to use them for, but you never know one day they might come in handy. So now I've got these off, found two bolts, let's start putting it all back together. So, pasted them, well, put some exhaust paste in there, put the springs on. I'm going to do it like this way, then at least I can get it all lined up how I want it. So yeah, there's that. So yeah, let's get them into the front, get them sealed up, get clamps on. Don't do it me. Don't forget to take your rubber from off your cat. Yeah, just take your rubber. This little metal thing just pulls out and you just put your rubber through. Put your rubber through this one, the new one here. So on. Then just push your nail back in. So yeah, we're virtually there, mate. We're virtually there. We just put this on, bolt this on. The other side's all bolted back up. Should be all goody. So that's that on. No tightened up. Both sides. Right when I did this, I had to dismantle it again. So yeah, as I built it, joined them together, then try to put it on. Pain in the fucking ass to do. So I dismantled it, put the other side on, bolted all that on. So all that was bolted on. 
and slid this side um slid it in put it on this bolted this back down the peg bit here bolted that back down so it holded this in push that all tight tighten this up so yeah then put the springs on after so that's nice and solid now time to get the back on so yeah here we go there we go that's that fitted Back off. 